My name is James Madison. I'm here to talk about Oracle Database Resource Manager and I have what is either a question if someone knows the answer or uh, an enhancement request which I'll be submitting to Oracle uh, if the product in fact does not behave the way we're hoping it behaves. We have several goals that we'd like to achieve with the use of Resource Manager. One is that we want the user to always be able to connect. We want to have a very positive connection experience for the user. One of the concerns I have is that when we do statement queuing, which is what, uh, actually session queuing, which is what Resource Manager can do in certain groups, um, if you queue a person when they're initially trying to connect, um, it feels like a bad user experience. So that's one of the challenges we have here. So yes, you can use groups in Oracle Resource Manager um, to queue sessions, but if you're not careful, a queued session feels like a hung session to a user and then you start getting phone calls for support. Uh, so we want to have a graceful connection. We want people to log in gracefully uh, every time. We then want queries to degrade gracefully. This, I think, is not much of a problem. The product does this pretty well. The idea that we want to move people down uh, in terms of how much uh, capacity of the machine they get, and we move them down based on uh, how much they're consuming. That should be easy enough. The third thing we need, though, is temporary downgrade or temporary punishment, I call it. When you move a session down to a lower group, uh, you don't want it to be permanent because if a query is running long, um, you want to downgrade it so it doesn't overwhelm the machine and it doesn't uh, challenge other people's ability to get resource. But at the same time, you don't want to leave a session there forever. Um, because you have to remember a session is what gets managed in Resource Manager for the most part. Um, queries uh, can be the thing that is focused on when it comes to switch for call. But for the most part, it's a session level tool. So this downgrading is tricky because if you downgrade a session because of a long running query and you leave it downgraded, uh, that user will now get a less uh, positive experience for subsequent queries on that same session. So we want this downgrade to be um, a temporary thing. Downgrade them for the duration of the long running query, but then move them back to a more normal state afterwards. So these are the goals that we're trying to achieve. And you'll see that goal one and goal three are a little bit tricky when we start talking through um, how it works. So the key elements here again, session level is the key. Session level is a part of this. Um, that is the level at which uh, Oracle Resource Manager functions. It functions at a session level. And you have to remember this because queries tend to run long or run short, but sessions are what get moved around in the groups. The notion of switch for call, the, it's a feature that the product has, and switch for call says switch the session to a different group for the duration of the long running query, and then switch back to the original group. But we're going to see where switch for call and original group um, put us in a situation that is not ideal from what we're trying to achieve here. Um, and I'm going to ask for, number one, what am I missing? Um, it's entirely possible that the product will work fine, and I just don't realize it. Um, but if not, I'd like to submit this as an enhancement to the product. But before I talk about what that enhancement is, let me work through a small example. In this particular example, we have a top plan, and we have three groups. We'll call these groups Connect, Main, and Slow. Connect is the group we want people to connect to so they get a positive user experience, and you'll see how we're going to get a positive user experience based on the settings. We want to move sessions quickly out of the connect group and then into the main group. The main group is where we expect most uh, queries to spend a lot of their time. Uh, unless they're very long running queries, then the session would get moved to the, we'll call it slow group. So the slow group is expected to let people run very long queries. Um, and then when the long queries are done, we'd like to have them move back to a different group. But you'll see how the product behaves in just a minute and it doesn't quite do what we needed to do. So for the connect group, we're going to set a few things here. First thing we're going to set is the CPU to 10%. It's a low CPU group because we just want people to connect, get into the database gracefully, and do whatever they need to do. There's an assumption here that when sessions connect to the database, they usually do run a few queries. Um, if it's a packaged product like SAS Enterprise Guide or Toad or something of that nature, it would probably query a few of the data dictionary tables just to, to show the user what they have. Um, SQL sessions, if you're logging in directly with SQL Plus, it would probably run the login.sql and maybe query a few things. I know my personal login, login.sql runs about 30 queries because I, I query a lot of things about the data dictionary. So there's an assumption that you're going to run a few queries when you first connect. Because of this, we don't want session queuing in the connect group. This is a key point. If you queue sessions in the connect group, it feels like a hung session. It feels like a failed logon. That is not a positive user experience. So that's a key part of this. 
we do eventually want statement queuing because statement queuing is a beautiful thing. It's not the same as, as statement queuing in 11GR2. And I apologize if I get them mixed up a few times. You'll, you'll know what I mean from context. Session queuing in Resource Manager versus statement queuing in 11GR2. The session queuing uh, in Resource Manager is valuable because it's finer grained. We want a very robust Resource Manager plan. And so we'd like to be able to do queuing at a, at a group level because it lets us really granulate the control of the groups based on what our enterprise needs are. Um, statement queuing in 11GR2 at a database level, as I understand it, um, is not that fine-grained. It's, it's a machine-level concept. Um, so we do want to use session queuing, but we don't want session queuing in the connect group, again, because it violates one of our basic needs, which is we want people to have a positive connection experience. And if you're queuing them in the connect group, that does not result in a positive experience. It results in what looks like a hung session. So what we'd like to do is say don't queue, have a switch time of five seconds or something very short, enough to run a few basic queries like data dictionary queries and then switch out to one of the slower groups. When we do switch out of connect, we're going to switch to main. So after the five seconds, switch to the main group. Do not switch for call. So switch for call says switch to the other group for the duration of a query but then switch back to the original group. We do not want to switch for call. We do want people to get switched out of connect fairly aggressively because it's a no queuing group with a very short CPU and we want to move them to main and then stay there. So far, no problem. In, far, in fact, so far very good because again, they're not queued in this group and therefore they get a good positive connection experience. They run five seconds, maybe only three seconds, maybe only two seconds, just a short amount of CPU just to let them run the connection stuff, do a few quick most likely data dictionary queries. Um, and then once they do more than five seconds of CPU, we move them to the main group. The main group gets 60% of the CPU or some large majority of it. We do want statement queuing both in this group and the next group we're going to talk about. We like the session queuing, and I apologize, I keep saying statement queuing, but you know what I mean because I get them confused. But it is session queuing in Resource Manager. And we want that session queuing to occur. We want the switch time to be 60 seconds, or maybe 2 minutes, or maybe 10 minutes, but something long, um, something reasonably long, not astronomically long, because super long things we're going to move over to the slow group, but reasonable queries, um, something other than the very short ones at the beginning, we want to have happen here, so we'll leave a switch time of something long. Um, and then we're going to switch them to the slow group. So only if they run for a very long time will we switch them to the slow group. And what we'd like to do is say, switch for call. Because again, one of our goals is only temporary punishment. Don't downgrade a session forever because the queries that run later might not be as long as the one that causes the downgrade. As a result, we say switch to the group slow, do it for the call, and what will happen is when you run longer than say 60 seconds or whatever we set it to, it'll get moved to the slow group. Okay, so far no problem. But here comes the problem. Switch for call, will switch the session back to the original group. If you switch for call from main into slow, when the call is over, the switch goes back to the connect group. The problem is this is an unqueued group. That means the next query they run will not get queued. The problem with that is if we keep switching people back to the connect group and they don't get session queuing, you have a serious problem because the, the running of the query will not get queued. The statement, excuse me, the session will not get queued. Now, the reason this is a problem is even if you get switched to a different group, the queuing is not picked up from the different group. The queuing is picked up at the time of the long-running query submission. In other words, if I'm in an unqueued group and I run a query that's going to run for 15 minutes, that's clearly more than five seconds, but after five seconds, I do not cause session queuing over here. The session queuing behavior is at the level of the group in which the query was originally submitted, and I've tested this several times. So the problem you'd have is if we keep switching everybody back to the original group, they're back to this group whose intent is to allow for a graceful experience by having connections. So this is the problem. We don't want to put session queuing on the connect group because it'll be a bad user experience. It'd be wonderful if we could move the session down to main, then down to slow for the call and have it switch back to main. So this is the trick. How do we switch for call but come back to the group it was in originally, not 
the original group. In other words, back to the group from which it switched. So I want to be able to get this tool to say, come in with no query, no queuing. When you run over five seconds, switch to main. Stay there because switch this to, for call is false. But then when you run over 60 seconds, switch to slow only for the duration of the call because switch for call is true. When you're done with the call, switch back to main. That's the trick. That's what we'd like to be able to get resource manager to do. And that's what it appears not to be able to do. Because if I switch for call from main, I get switched back to connect. And I don't want that because I want this group to have the characteristics necessary for a good, clean connection. I want main to have the characteristics of most queries for the early part of a session. And then I want slow to have the characteristics of things that run very long such that when the long running thing is done, we go back to main. So again, my question to everyone is, what am I missing? All right? If I'm seeing something wrong, let me know. If there is a way, even if it's not resource manager, right? but we want to use resource manager, but if there is a way to get a graceful connection, to downgrade things as things consume resource, and then move back up to um, a group that is not the, the fast connection group, because that's not queued, but move back to some nice degradation and, and undegradation. That's the goal. If we can achieve those goals, let me know. But I've tested this pretty thoroughly in Resource Manager, and I believe Resource Manager as is uh, will not function that way. I can see this from a requirements perspective or from a, you know, an API perspective. The this, this solution would be quite simple. Um, how complex it would be for Oracle to implement, I don't know. That's you know, behind the scenes, obviously. All I can see is, one way, way I'm thinking of it is, have as a parameter a switchback target. So in other words, I already have as parameters switch group, switch for call, switch time. If I had a switchback target, and I could say my switchback target is original or my switchback target is prior, that would be one way to do it. Or if I had switchback target is, and I could specify a group name. So in other words, if I went to connect, and I say, okay, my switchback target is what? It would be no different than the switch group here. So switch group, switch back group for this one would be null. I don't want to switch back when I move to main, okay? Main would have a switch back group of what? Null as well. And then when you moved over to slow, it would have a switch back group of main. Or something like that. And again, I haven't thought out the entire solution because my goal here at this uh, presentation is to present the problem as clearly as I can. But something that says a switch back uh, target of that nature. Uh, would be handy. So either switch back target original, switch back target prior, or switch back target group name are some of the things I'm thinking of. Um, I don't know, there might be better solutions, but I'm thinking that would be a pretty uh, handy way to address it. Uh, the bottom line is though, we can't really have what we have today, which is um, if we leave this group unqueued, the connect group unqueued, and we allow slow to switch back to it by using switch for call, too many things will go into this group that doesn't queue, and we don't get the queuing that we need.